What up people, it's Crushaholic here, and I'm going to show you how to flush out your radio that has rust or um, corrosion in it. And there are just going to be a couple of things you're going to need. First, I always recommend gloves. Second, you can use whatever you could use to plug up a hole or something like that, but I'm just going to use some Gorilla Tape. And third, let me move these away for it, is some of this. Metal Rescue. It's a rust remover, and I've used this countless times in tanks to remove rust, and it also removes a lot of corrosion from weathering and our drying fluids, I guess you could say. But this is a need. Put that over there for now. And you're also going to need a funnel, or if you think you could do it without a funnel, that's fine. But I would just recommend a funnel so you don't get all a mess everywhere. So, first um, thing, you're going to get your radiator. Now, I have a hole here and here. And one here, but I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. But I'll just do it anyways. So, first, you don't need to put on your gloves for this part. Um, you're just going to cover up the holes as well as you can. Also, I forgot to mention that you're probably going to want a bucket just in case these don't hold. Like, I tripled it and I put hose clamps on. But, you never know. It, whatever you could put could always fail at one point. So, as you can see, I don't know if you can see down there. But it's corroded and it's rust and there's rust all the way through the bottom. So that's why I'm really doing this video because I was going to do it just for me. But they thought me never know, maybe someone's in a situation like me. So, I'm going to put on the funnel. Also, I'm going to put on my gloves now, because this is where it could get messy. Okay, and when I open this, you might think, like, you could reuse this, it even says, like, on the label. So mine's a little murky, but not, like, rusty, rusty. Like, it's not like I'm pouring rust into it. That's what I'm trying to get at. So I'm just going to start filling it. Just gonna let it go through the radiator. Looks like my hose clamps are holding, so that's a good. Cool. Now fill some more. Smells like carrot juice. Well, it's a weird thing to say, but it does. Never had carrot juice. Don't try it. It's horrible. Okay, yep, and that is it full, and this is cool, put the leftovers in there, and then check my seals, and they are working. Now, 
I will put this radiator cap back on and let it sit here for overnight, a day, or something like that. So let's sit like that so there's a chance. My seals don't break. And that is just basically what you're going to do. Um, I might put in it finished, but I probably won't. So I'm on a tight schedule right now. Got a lot of things to do this week. But that's basically how you clean out your radiator. See, this is a 15-year-old, well, not, it's way old. It's like 20-year-old radiator, but it's been sitting in someone's backyard for 15 years, covered in bushes and stuff. So, I'm just going to leave it like this. I'll probably check it every once in a while to see if fluids came back or not. Probably take off that radiator cover. Perfect. And then just clean up your mess and you're done. Put this back on. And clean off the funnel. Got some paper over here. Perfect. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and hope this could help you. I do stand by this. I really do. I used it on chrome. I used it on the inside of my tank, which I believe they're aluminum. Or I could be wrong. I think they're aluminum. But Metal Rescue is the way to go if you have any rust. Like, I was skeptical about it. It's expensive. I will give you that. It's like 20 bucks maybe? Fishing, something like that for one of these. But you can keep on reusing it until it gets too murky. But this this saves half of the things I pull off of bikes or four wheelers or anything like that. So yeah, go I got got this at Home Depot. And yeah, that's just and also thing is it's summer now so you don't have to worry about it, but I did this in winter. You might want to put it by a heater because um you have to stay at sixty eight degrees or above or it won't work. So it's been about twenty minutes now. And I do have a super small leak at this bottom one right there. So what I'm probably going to do is just level this in there. Like so. That will probably be how I leave it. So everything is up and so it just sits in there. And then I'll probably, when I wake up in the morning, flip it the other way so it gets all this side. And let it slowly drain out. And then... Once I think it's done, I'll just pull the whole thing out and dump it. And then you get rid of your gloves. And that will be it for this video.